Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's The Nightman Leaveth. The Nightman Leaveth is an 11% Imperial Rye Milk Stout from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. The Nightman Leaveth is another beer in the line of Oddside's association with Always Sunny, and this time it's an Imperial Rye Milk Stout that's been aged in rye whiskey barrels. And I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to trying this just to break the string I've had with all this beer that's been aged in bourbon barrels. I'm hoping that the rye kind of brings out a little bit more uh, spiciness and some dryness from the beer, but I'm also hoping for some sweetness from the Milk Stout side, so hopefully this will change the pace a little bit. So let's talk about this great crudely drawn label of the nightman leaving um all i can say is i'm glad he's not coming in my room to fill me up uh this beer was brewed on 10 4 2017 so just a few weeks back about a month ago month and a week or so from when this is going to go up and uh yeah he's just kind of bolting out of that door again like i said this is an 11 percent uh Imperial Rye Milk Stout with Vanilla Beans Aged in Rye Whiskey Barrels. And on the side, keep refrigerated, drink fresh, and gives you the percent and where this is coming from. So let's get out the handy-dandy bottle opener and my glass here. And let's open this baby up. Again, Odd Side Ales, just the standard, standard bottle opener. No, no special bottle cap, bottle opener, whatever, bottle cap. You know what I meant. Whew. And that does smell, you know, obviously it's not a, a bourbon barrel aged beer, so it, it it has a different scent. You know, it's a milk stout. It has kind of that milkiness, has a little bit of a sweetness. Like I said, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a spiciness like I would expect out of a rye. It smells good, though. Let's pour it and see what it looks like and get a better smell. Pours out nice and dark, a little thick. And no real head again to speak of. Maybe, oh, actually it's forming a little bit of a head. But yeah, getting a little bit of a spiciness. I, I am actually, you know, dryness is more of something that you taste, but it all, it kind of does smell a little dry. Sweet, let's get a, let's get a good drink out of this. Yep, definitely getting that spice. A little dryness on the back end. It is sweet, though. So, yeah, I'm definitely picking up spiciness right off the get-go. Has a little bit of a dry aftertaste, uh, but it's sweet. It's not, you know, you think of dry being maybe like, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a tartness or a little bit of a... Uh, you can kind of taste the alcohol in it. This you can taste a little bit, but it's it's really sweet. And like I said, that kind of sets it off a little bit. I just had Hazel's Nuts. Uh, <laughs> I just drank Hazel's Nuts, reviewed it for the channel. Um, I'm preferring this to Hazel's Nuts because this seems a little bit sweeter. It doesn't, the sweetness doesn't seem so artificial. I thought the Hazel's Nuts sweetness was was definitely an artificial kind of sweetness to it. If I remember correctly, that one was a bourbon barrel aged. This is a rye barrel aged, and it does kind of pick up again. The spiciness is a little bit fuller in this. Uh, again, the sweetness is sweet, but it's not as artificial tasting as it was in Hazel's Nuts. So just comparing them, you know, together against each other, I would prefer Nightman Leaveth, hands down. I mean, if you're a Hazel's Nuts fan, Maybe you go for that for more of the bourbon and the hazelnut. Um, obviously, this isn't a hazelnut, but uh, I like this one a lot better. I think that this has a better sweetness, a better... I like the spiciness just a little bit better, the dryness a little bit better. And it has a thick mouthfeel. It has this kind of creaminess. It's, um, it's thick. It's kind of syrupy, but it also kind of has this creaminess to it that it just goes down really easily. I can taste the ABV. I can tell that it's up there, but it's not overpowering. It's it's really nicely balanced. Again, I just prefer this one. If I had to compare this one to Hazel's Nuts, I would go with Nightman Leaveth. I just think it's the better beer overall.
All right, friends, that is The Night Man Leaveth by Oddside Ales. There are a lot of great beers still coming out this year, and if you want to have a say on what gets reviewed next, leave me a comment below on your suggestion or catch up with me on Twitter and vote on one of my polls. While you're down there commenting, hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends, and be sure to check out my social media links. All this stuff, I pulled some strings that's absolutely free to you. Most people would have to pay for this, but I like you guys, so I'm going to make it free just for you guys. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and until next time, treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.